Hey everyone, Loomis here, and we are back with another Langrisser Mobile Apex Mercenary Ranking video. So, we are going to review the new slate of mercenaries that just released 20 minutes ago. So, the theme of the week is, you know, there's a lot of actually pretty decent ones, and there's a lot of really, really, really bad ones. Like, there, a couple of them are amongst some of the best mercenaries we've ever seen, and a few of them are definitely amongst some of the worst mercenaries we've ever seen. So we'll start off here with a six star Landius. And this is actually a very solid Landius. It has Thorin's Overlord badge. Basically has all the best in slot equips with the exception of Dragon Slayer Graham. But this is actually a pretty strong Landius. I would say its HP is a little bit on the lower side, but very solid attack. Uh, pretty good defenses. Um, it's very strong overall, so I would actually rank this one very high, especially if you don't have a Landius as strong as this one, but this is going to be stronger than your average Landius, and it's actually very, very good. It also has two runes, so it does not have the Sun Slash, however, that should not be a problem to run. Now, next we have a 5-star Lestel here, and this Lestel is pretty good. I mean... You know, I'm not a big fan of the 2 plus 2 green on Lestel and just the general HP stacking build. I think, you know, it's in this in this meta, you know, going for defense and magic defense and survivability on your Lestel is much more important than just sheer HP. However, this Lestel is still pretty solid. I would rank it, you know, a solid B. It does have all its runes, which is very important. So, you know, this is actually a, a, a very good Lestel and, you know, if you're... Uh, running Lestel or you don't have one, this is uh, an easy addition to a lot of boxes. Alright, now we have a 5-star Leaden here, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with this Leaden, but there's nothing great about it either. You know, to be honest, it looks like a not only pre-AB and Chance Leaden, but, you know, only a, you know, slightly, very small, slightly above average one at best. So, you know, if you're running Leaden, and this is better than your Leaden, you could consider him, but, you know, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, run to grab this Leaden. I think that most people who use Leaden might have a stronger one, but, you know, this one, I'd say it's, you know, it's solid, but, you know, solid, but not spectacular. Okay, so now we have a six-star Sakura here, and this is easily one of the best mercenaries we've ever had. The only thing really wrong with it in my opinion is that it's running speed boots instead of apex boots or another attack boosting accessory if it was running a especially if it was running apex this would be an absolute monstrosity of a unit it'd be definitely over 900 pre-battle attack and it'd be very dangerous so you know it's, her talent at six stars is quite strong and i actually think this is quite a good unit and a great addition for most boxes if you can get over the fact that it's only wearing speed boots, but its stats are still actually fairly proficient, and I think she's this is a very good mercenary option overall. Okay, so next we have a five star Matthew here, and it's the Shadow class, aka the useless class. The only thing nice I have to say about this uh, Matthew is that it does have all its runes, so it has you know ninjutsu, which is cool. It has its cat command, it has the protag buff, but this mat is, you know, I. I I doubt it's going to kill anything, especially because it's wearing an Ullers. Um, if you can make it work, sure, but, you know, I would not try to cram this into your box. Alright, next we have the 6-star Narm here, and this Narm sucks. I'm sorry. It has 612 pre-battle attack. That's horrible. The It does have an EMB, at least, with a better intelligence enchant. Um, you know, I would just not... It does have all its runes. I, I just would not call this a very good Narm at all. Uh, 612 pre-battle attack is, at, is just unconsciously low. Uh, no offense, Zayfarin. Um, but yeah, no, so I would not put this Narm in your box. Uh, next we have a 6-star Lifany here, who is even worse than that Narm, I think. This Lifany is terrible. Do not use it. Alright, next we have a 6-star Liana here, and the only great thing about it is that it is 6-star. It's HP is quite low, it's intelligence is quite low, it's not overly that great. It, do, it is 6 star though, which has a, it, it does have going for itself. It does have two runes, it's missing gospel, but it does have the Sky Archer Summon at least. So if this is better than your Liana, um, put it in, but you know, I think a lot of people's Lianas is going to be better than this one. Alright, next we have Freya here, and this Freya might be the worst mercenary we've 
seen ever. It's there's nothing good about this Freya. And we have Aaron here, who is not only level 59, uh, but actually might be even worse than this Freya. So I, I, I lied. The the Freya is at least the second worst unit we've ever had because this Aaron is worse. Uh, don't use this Aaron at all. All right. So to summarize my reviews of the Mercenaries this week, I would say that the Landius and the Sakura are both very good and should be heavily considered uh, to be used. I think the Listel has its purposes and is pretty good. I think that the Ledin and the Liana might fit in some boxes here. I think the Matthew's bad, and I think the Narm, the Liphany, the Freya, and the Aaron are possibly four of the most unusable mercenaries we've ever had. Uh, they're up there with that Kirikaze with the multicolor uh, enchant setup, so they're really, really bad. Stay away. So, that's it for the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future.